did you know that the real estate conversion rates are actually pretty bad? I'm referring to real estate website conversion rates and it's compared to other industries. For a few months now I've been wrestling with the idea of finding the reason behind that. So for this video I conducted a little study to analyze the real estate websites of the 100 largest real estate brokers in the US and how they generate seller leads. My goal was to identify a pattern to hopefully find a reason for these low conversion rates. I used data from the website Realtrans and went through it one by one. You bet I found something worth making a video about. So in this video you will learn what results I found and my theory of why these real estate website conversion rates are as low as they are. But before we dive into my little study, what do you think did I analyze on these real estate websites? I will give you a hint. It's what persuades visitors of a website to leave their contact information. It refers to an incentive, also known as a freebie, giveaway, lead magnet, or what some might call an ethical bribe. Offering something for free in exchange for an email address and a name usually does much better than just having a contact form or offering something extraordinary such as a newsletter. Getting on a newsletter without anything in exchange was a thing when you got a dopamine hit when you received a new email in 2001, but now, nah. And since it's currently more difficult to generate seller leads than buyer leads in this market, I focused on how these real estate websites generated seller leads. So how bad is the lead conversion rate on real estate websites? Well, according to this source, it's 0.6% on average. Is it really that bad? Well, when you compare it to the average conversion rates across other industries, it is. Across all industries, it's 3.68%. So in real estate, it's six times less. But why is that? To help answer this question, my little study comes in. So as I mentioned earlier, I went through all of the 100 broker websites and checked what type of incentives, if at all, were offered to their website visitors. And this is what I found. Of the 100 analyzed websites, almost half, 49%, offer exactly zero, nada, in terms of incentives to generate seller leads. There are only contact forms for potential sellers who may be interested in selling. That's it. Then almost again half, 47%, offer the famous free home valuation as an incentive. And only a tiny percentage offer a different type of incentive. What are these different types of incentives? Well, 2% offer an instant cash offer seller lead magnet. These brokerages may also work as wholesalers. And another 2% offer a tool-based lead magnet called Move Meter. The move meter can help potential sellers and buyers compare two different locations so they can find out whether it makes sense to move or sell and then move. But often these incentives were offered together with the standard home valuation lead magnet. So they offer two lead magnets simultaneously. Now have you already a hunch why real estate website conversion rates are so below average? Let's get into the first most obvious reason. I think if just half of the brokerage websites would start using a lead magnet instead of just a contact form for sellers, this average could already be doubled. So the first reason is not using a seller lead magnet at all. The not so obvious reason has more to do with marketing strategy and psychology. Let's say you decide to start going to the gym. We are still kind of in the beginning of the new year, so you still have a chance to tackle these new year's resolutions. Now in your city area where you live for some weird reason it's common practice that people have protein shake stands like lemonade stands and give away free protein shakes. Now you go shopping for gym membership. You go to the first gym and they offer free protein shakes in exchange for your contact information. Sounds okay, but well, you can get a free one already at the next street corner. So you go to the next gym and see what they have to offer. And what a surprise. They also offer free protein shakes in exchange for your contact information. You do this with two more gyms and each one offers the same. And in the end, you don't know anymore which gym 
you would prefer over the other because all of them somewhat sound the same and that's exactly what happens when everyone offers the same type of lead magnet and on top of that you can already get free home valuations from sites like Zillow, ePraisal and Chase's home valuation tool. This leads to home sellers to perceive a lead magnet like that as less valuable. And when website visitors such as potential sellers find the same lead magnet or the same lead generation method repeated across different real estate websites, they simply become desensitized. It's like the famous banner blindness or ad blindness. Your website visitors don't even see this free offer anymore. Their brains shut it out. So this is the second less obvious reason why I think that the real estate website conversion rates are below average. And this is not a good thing when you operate in a highly competitive market like real estate. So instead of a differentiated value proposition the free home valuation becomes a basic expectation from potential sellers and buyers. What can you do instead? Well, this also depends on the degree of freedom you have with your brokerage's real estate website. Many of the websites I analyze are from well-known large brokerages. As an agent for these brokerages, you usually get to use their website framework. But suppose you have a greater flexibility. Given that a home valuation tool has become a standard feature for a real estate website, I would stay with it instead. And additionally, I would recommend you create a unique seller lead magnet that helps you stand out. And in one of my next videos, I will show you a strategy of how you can find one. But the wrong lead magnet is just one thing that can hurt your seller and buyer lead conversion rate on your real estate website. The next video shows you what else can make you leave money on the table.